You okay? I was talking before or after I tell my mom that the one day a week she lets me drive a car, I get into an accident. Bummer. Yeah, bummer. You crash into someone and all you gotta say is bummer? I may never be able to drive again because of you and your stupid Batmobile or whatever the heck that thing is. LT Turbo. What? The car. I guess it does kind of look like the Batmobile. Except the Batmobile's probably cheaper to fix. By the way, I got insurance. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, um, uh, so insurance information? Problem. I'm telling you, the sky was so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But of course, I looked awful. I was mad at my mom that day, so I was just wearing as much makeup and jewelry as I could just to make her nuts. <laughs> so were you sorry when you realized how cute he was that you yelled at him? <laughs> Actually, um, I would have been, except he gave me totally bogus insurance information, and uh, the number he wrote down was disconnected. Oh, no way. Way. Oh, oh and um, I totally forgot to write down his license number, so now my mom thinks I made up the whole thing about being rear-ended, and really I just backed into a pole or something. Oh, Katie, that's awful. Yeah, tell me about it. I can't believe he gets to get away with it. Oh, hey! It's Katie, right? I am so glad to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm real glad to see you. Look, I feel just terrible. The insurance information I gave you was completely out of date. You tell me something I don't know? You see, it's, it's my dad's car, and he never cleans out the old stuff in the glove compartment, and uh, I guess I just gave you the wrong paper. <laughs> yeah, just like you wrote down the wrong phone number. Oh, man. 555-0101, right? It's my New York number. I've been doing that a lot lately. So, yeah, man, my, my brain's a little fried from transferring her so suddenly. You had a school here? As of today. See, I lived with my mom, and then my dad decided I'd be better off here in Maybury. Ugh. Yeah. So, what do people do around here in their spare time? Well, for starters, they uh, fix people's cars when they hit them. OK. Well, here's what we do. You meet me after school in the parking lot, and we'll take it to the body shop. Ugh. What do you say? My car's not here. My mom won't let me drive it anymore. Well, then you'll take me to talk to her. I'll tell her it was all my fault. Really? Absolutely. And then maybe afterwards, you go out for a cup of coffee or something, get to know each other a little better. Um, uh, yeah, maybe. All right, then. So I'll meet you in the parking lot. Okay. I'll be the one next to the battle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Right. Okay, the cutest guy that ever set foot in the school just asked you out. <laughs> I guess that's what they mean by happy accident. <laughs> Hey, Brooke, we really need copies of the new manual, and I gotta get going. Could you run some off? How many do you need? 20. Thanks. Oh, you want? Oh, but. Oh. Hey, Brooke, could you change the filter on the water cooler? This one's a little nasty. No, but I can teach you. Maybe next time, okay? <laughs> Ew. But, Mayor Rivera, you can't be serious. It's absurd, but it's what the city council voted. So any request for funding has to be accompanied by a complete oh. inventory of all of our equipment. We're talking everything from paper clips to ambulances. Now, what? I told them it would be incredibly time-consuming and labor-intensive. We have hardly asked them for anything this year. I know, I know, but it's their way of riding herd on you guys. I'm sorry, Alex. No, it's okay. Because we have a secret weapon. If anybody can come up with a killer inventory, it's Brooke. Right, Brooke? Um, Listen, actually, the other thing I need to talk to you about is a new fire department. So I'm, I'm completely giving him a hard time, and he's being really nice. <laughs> he came and apologized to my mom and everything. And he had the car fixed? And had the car fixed. 
Wow. <sighs> so? So, I guess he's not some con artist like we thought. <laughs> I may actually have a genuinely nice and totally cute guy on my hands. <laughs> is, that, is that even possible? Katie, <laughs> yes, of course it's possible. <sighs> I mean, he's not my usual type, you know, but... You have but, a type? Ugh, give me a break. Bro, go. I mean, it's kind of, kind of a country club kid, you know? I just, like, I get the feeling he's more used to girls who are more like you, kind of, you know? You mean like dumb blondes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, he's, uh, he's invited me to go to this uh, totally cool charity event his parents are hosting for the museum. You, you go with this guy <laughs> once and he's already getting you to come meet his parents? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was a little weird, but it's just it's this big event. You really kind of have to bring someone, you know? Um, I hate to interrupt this episode of Blind Date, but Val, would you mind getting the clean stuff out of the dryer? No, you can't, because um, you have to come shopping with me to find something to wear, because um, everything closes in an hour, okay. so I'm sorry. But I'm sorry, but do you mind just doing laundry duty this one time? Major retail emergency going on here, okay? Is that okay? Thank you. I'll do it. That's Brooke. Brooke will do it. Okay, honey, I'm off to my investment meeting. Oh, could you load the dishwasher? And don't forget the pots need to be scrubbed first. Thanks. <sighs> oh, here comes Billy. Okay, act like we're not talking about him. Okay. Hey. Hey yourself. <laughs> uh, this is my this friend. This is for you. <laughs> what is it? Open. Okay. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> Look, it's an earring with a nose ring attached to it. Oh, oh I, I, I can't accept this. No, please, I, I want you to have it after what I put you through with your mom. And uh, I was thinking you could wear it to the museum benefit. You're kidding. No, I think it looked totally hot. <laughs> Look, I gotta run. So please keep it, or at least think about it. <laughs> so, what do you think? It looks expensive. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, wow. This is gonna be platinum, good. <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing a shirt that says, dump it here or something. You see, you're one of those people. One of what people? One of those people that, if someone asks you to do something, they don't have to worry about it because they know you'll get it done and you'll get it done right. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. You're kind of too efficient for your own good. What? And it's a clip-on, which uh, will come in handy in case I need to blow my nose. Huh. And he actually told you he wants you to wear it when you meet his parents? Yeah, I know. I was a little confused, too, but uh, he said his parents really admire individuality, so. Really? Yeah. Hmm. 85. 86. Okay, this is like the most boring thing I've ever done in my whole life. Can't say I didn't warn you. Hey, Brooke, we just spilled a whole pot of coffee in the rec room. Would you mind? Gotta run. Brooke, we're out of paper towels. Hey, yo, Brooke, can you finish stuck in those uh, manuals in the rec room? Brooke, could you move these boxes, please? See? Okay, it's worse than I thought. What am I gonna do? I told you before. Yeah, right. Look, if you don't want to take inventory for the rest of your life, don't be so good at it. Let me see this here. Right here, would be a little bit less specific. And you see this right here? Some people call this a fire extinguisher. Me, they call it a foam spray. <laughs> Look, if you don't want the job, don't fit the job description. 87. 88. Teenage male gone through a glass table. Injury unknown. We're on it. Excuse me, excuse me, uh, please. Excuse me. Please, thank you. What's his name? Billy. Billy. How long has he been out? Not long. He was fine right after he fell. And then he just kind of passed out. BP's 110 over 68. Pulse is 56. Swap. Hey, Billy, can you hear me? There doesn't appear to be more than one cut here above the eye. What happened? We were just leaning against that table, and all of a sudden, it just gave way. Yeah, you're just leaning against it? Well, actually, we were, like, kissing. I guess it was just too much weight, and Billy fell through. 
What's up, man? Hold still, my man. This is the little minor cut we're dealing with. Am I gonna need stitches? Nah, you'll be fine. I'll say you're gonna have a pretty nasty hangover. Sorry, baby. I guess I just got a little out of control. They're always out of control. But so we can't break the confidentiality no, we code? Can't. Well, if we don't tell Katie what we saw last night. This guy is slime. Okay, so, so, so the question is, do you ignore the rules to save a friend a lot of heartache? Or do you honor the code and watch someone that you care about get totally messed up by a jerk? You honor the code. If Katie's not a dummy, she'll find out on her own. I agree. Besides, haven't y'all ever heard of shooting the messenger? Hey, man, we gotta bounce. Look, I know she's your friend, but she's gotta make her own mistakes. And you know what I don't get? Why is this guy even going out with Katie if he has a girlfriend, you know? It's... Oh, I can't please her. Well, it's too late now. Hey. Hey, what's mm -hmm. up? Well, it's a big night. <laughs> the uh, big museum thing, Philly's parents. Cool. <laughs> so have you decided what you're wearing? Um, well, you said that they uh, really admired individuality, and uh, since that happens to be a specialty of mine, <laughs> Excuse me. Dad? Marjorie? I'd like you to meet Katie. My new girlfriend. Wait. What? What's up, okay. Belle? Wait, so, okay. We may not be able to tell Katie about what happened with Billy on the call, but there's nothing stopping us from helping her figure it out on her own, right? Right? Yeah. Heading south, approaching Flower Power Florist. Copy, subject in sight. Flower Power. It was like he was happy that his parents thought I was a total weirdo. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh. Oh. Gotta go? No. Okay, so Actually, I'm thinking we should go this this way because um, I, I, I was thinking uh, I wanted to show you a store that was just around the corner here. We just came from here. I know. Well, I forgot something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, can we uh, see ya? <laughs> hey, Katie, what's up? I was, uh, I was an old friend from junior high. You know, it's been a while, you know. Yeah, it's uh, nice to see old friends. Yeah. Oops, sorry, that's all. No, it's okay. It's... Flower power. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, I don't believe this. Katie, you know what? I'm so sorry. I can explain. <laughs> You know, Billy, you don't need to explain a thing, okay? Here you go. Um, what are you guys doing? Katie was trying to help. <laughs> this is like some bad cop show or something. Ugh, I can't believe you guys. And you know what? For your information, um, Billy can come and go as he pleases, okay? Nobody signed a contract here. Katie. She is so cool. <laughs> hey, chill, Jamie.
plastic cup. One year acquired. Hey. Uh, you got a minute? Um, sure. I got this inventory report that you did for the city. I gotta say, it's a little weird. Twelve writing implements, unknown origin, three foam sprayers. I know, it, it's terrible. I'm doing it over, I'm really sorry. I just don't get this, Brooke. Why is this so strange? I just did a bad job, that's all. But you never do a bad job of anything. What is this all about? Nothing. I, I just thought that maybe if I wasn't so good at all the junk everyone keeps asking me to do, then maybe they'd stop asking. But now I can't stand that it's done wrong, so I'm running around redoing it all, just making more work for myself. Great theory, huh? Hmm. I'm really sorry. You're right, people do rely on you a lot because you're so conscientious at everything. But we certainly don't want to take you for granted. I, for one, don't know we'd run this place without you. So I'll tell you what, can we make a deal? I will promise to not let you get snowed under again if you would just give me the old brook back. Deal. Is it, is it so hard for you guys to believe that maybe some cute guy likes me? Katie, you caught the guy red-handed kissing another girl. Do you really think that he likes you? Okay, that was an old girlfriend he was saying goodbye to. Oh, come on. Give me a break. What about your mom's car? That was just some weird mix-up or something, okay? I'm sure there's an explanation. Well, I think maybe you better ask for it. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will. Just to prove you and your little secret agent squad wrong. Okay, um... Aren't you coming with me? Why? Because I want a witness. Billy said he just had to stay after for some detention thing. It should be over by now. See, it's a great plan, huh? Fly on the wall. The more I freak them out, the quicker they realize that, hey, guess what? I don't belong here, and they'll send me back. <laughs> uh, and I'm telling you, man, when my folks saw me and Katie with that nose ring thing, I gotta remember. I was as good as on a plane back to New York, and you know what, dude? What? It's all that matters. Okay, this is war. Uh, sorry, am, am I late? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, okay, so we realize that sometimes in the heat of things around here, you get left holding the bag. Sometimes? A lot of the time. Right. Anyway, we just wanted to let you know how much we really do appreciate everything you do for us around here. Gift certificate. Good for one chore of your choice. Done by me for you, love Val. And there's one there from each of us. Thanks, you guys. So whenever you need something, just let us... Um, actually, I'll cash in right now. If you each take a section of the inventory, it'll be done in no time. I've already divided it into sections and subsections, but I need a full count of each one. Hey, the first rule to successful administration is delegate, delegate, delegate. just having a lovely chat with your friend Katie here. And she's brought you these. Seems the credit card you gave the auto body shop to fix her car was a stolen one. So of course it didn't go through. Kind of put Katie in an awkward position, don't you think? She tells us that you gave her this lovely piece of jewelry as well. And she's concerned that it was purchased with the same credit card and that it might cause you some trouble. Oh, wow. I am so sorry. I really am. But I know that's probably not enough. Look, if, if you want to send me back to live with Mom, I totally understand. I think we have a much better idea. What's this? Branford Military Academy. Actually, I've been considering it as a possibility for your future for quite some time now. And under the circumstances, I think this is the perfect moment to discuss it. 
I, I really should be going now. This uh, feels like kind of a family moment. I can assure you the repair bill for your car will be taken care of immediately. Billy has a wonderful stereo system, which I'm sure he'll have no trouble selling to pay for it. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Katie, I really am sorry. I think you're totally great. Save it for the Colonel, Billy. Mm. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>